Okay, guys, here's a treat for you. We just got before we got randomizing. So, hey, Alex the first. He's been complaining about going last for a like while, so now he gets to start on Blue Farm. They're both playing uh, Free Stiff with Damon. It's gonna be interesting. But we have a new addition that we never had on this YouTube channel before. I believe we haven't seen before because I didn't update his games and I didn't commentate as much. We have Ace on his fame Yasharn the Pig stacks. This is gonna be a very interesting game. Too bad he's last. If if I would have made like probably the ideal starting for this spot, it would have been well, I'm I'm biased, but I would probably done Joy the first, Yashan second, and then both teams. But such is life, and we have to deal with a free stiff turn one and uh, a free, uh, sorry, a free stiff on the start and another free stiff as, like, as third. So, the world is their oyster, as Sam will say. We still have Ben on Joyra, I'm still hyped over it. I'm so sour that last game didn't go as planned because just Damon said, like, okay, here's time to add Nos, fun over lads. The fan police has arrived. I really hope that he gets a better hand this turn and he managed to at least do what he wants to do with Jora, which is Storm. I really want to see that. Okay. Um, as I was saying, too bad Ace is last because he needs to be first to have more impact on the game. Unless. Unless he draws a, what shall I call it? Unless he draws turn one Jew Lotus for a turn one pig, that will really make the game interesting, because that means no more dark side. Because one of the lines of Yasharn says, players cannot sacrifice permanence as part of a casting cost. Yes. If I can't be life or sacrifice non permanence to cast spells or activate abilities. So, this is one of the normal counters for Dogside. The Piggy. Piggy is strong. Hmm, maybe I should play Piggy in my deck. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Too bad it only search for a basic forest, but... Okay, so, let's go! Let's actually start. Alex starts the game with a Windswept Heath into a Tundra into a Mystic Remora. So that's a turn one fish. Mm, that's the first player. That's huge. That's so many cards. Especially before a Joyra. Mm. So Ben plays uh, what's that? Ancient Tomb. Inchor can sign it, giving Alex a card. And he probably will continue with something else because he wants to turn to Joyra. Well, he already has it with a second land drop, but... Nope, he declines and passes, probably not wanting to feed the fish anymore. I'm guessing we're still waiting on Alex to actually play the fish on the board, but people are assuming it. Oh, Damon had a pregame action in Gemstone Caverns, exiling a Burden Catacombs. He plays a Tundra and the Lotus Petal into a Timna for a revalue. Good play. Not a banter one. Then here comes the ace, the pig boy. Plays a savannah. Okay. Uh, Silence and the spirit guide into Dranith Magistrate. Whoo! Okay, so we begin with these decks. This uh, destroys every dream of Underworld Breach. Also, no more Joyra. I'm sad now. Now, Alex also his turn. Is he going to pay one to pay the fish around? Yeah, yeah. You, you keep the fish around, for sure. Then draws, plays a bad land into a mana crypt for a mana vault into a mox opal, so he has metal craft now. Ooh, that's a turn to a nose. With a fish backup. Ooh, boy. 
And this is freeze farm doing freeze farm things. But uh, Ben responds with a brainstorm, trying to get a force of will or a force of negation, I believe. Putting two cards back that... Did he get it? Did he find it? Or is he praying on Damon to have interaction for this? Having four cards in play, in hand... Mm, that's kinda iffy. Alex still has a uh, colorless floating. Okay. So everyone... Uh, everyone passes on the nose. Let's see if he hits. That's a mana confluence. Nothing. Mana drain takes two. That's a two more, 35, that's a snap. He just needs to get to dog side and extra mana. Freeze guardianship, deflecting sword. Those are not really good hits. Those are not good hits. Sure, that's defense. No fast mana. Nothing, food, food heals. Oh, Mox Diamond, that's really good. So he still has one colorless floating from everything. Training rounds. There's nothing. Well, it is interesting, but doesn't do much unless he finds a breach between all this. But there's no breach because it's a Dranith, so breach is useless at this point. Okay. Was even this the play, Alex? Okay, that's a lot of... Mm, that doesn't see much... Pita, 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 Pita... Justice! I want to see some justice! I don't see the win there, I don't... I, there's not much to do there? It's lots of defense, but nothing to actually win with, or I didn't see much to win with aside from like Impsil and stuff. You need to keep going. Oh, he stopped there, okay. He still has one colorless floating, which might be important to remember. Just remember, I have one finger here, that means that's the colorless floating. So he casts a Chrome Storm. Chrome Mox exiling meme betrayal. Interesting. That's very interesting. So he cast and he's gonna cast a snap. <laughs> F6, that's so good. Okay, that's a snap on the Dranith. Ooh. Oh, but Damon responds with a deflecting swat. Yeah, but Alex has the back negation that he that he said that he showed from the Adnos. And draws one from the fish because deflecting swat. Does he still have the win? Because he does, he doesn't have any colorless. He has the two lands though. It's it, that's it. Does he have it though? Because, yeah, Mox Diamond sacrificing. Uh, sorry, discarding any random land. That this is three mana open. Yeah, he still has LED, but LED doesn't do much. Okay, he has LED and Mox Diamond tab for some mana. Hmm. Hmm. One of the plays to do with this, I don't remember if he revealed um, the Ammonic Tutor, but he can do the Ammonic Tutor and holding priority crack LED. And he can get the card he needs. Shocker. Breach. And go for it. Especially after no one has answers for this. And people are playing around with uh, 
Ben's F6. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have F6. <laughs> Mm hmm so there's a silence uh, there's gonna be okay he, that's the line so he gets d d uh, dt and on um, hold the priority cracks led for underworld breach and then just go yeah there's so many things okay and alex wins with turn two and nos who would have thought that Arnos wins games again <laughs>